starting in 5 seconds honorable speaker sir it was our government which set up a separate department for fisheries realizing the importance of assisting fishermen this has resulted in doubling of both inland and aquaculture production seafood export since 2013 14 has also doubled implementation of pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana will be stepped up to one enhance aquaculture productivity from existing 3 to 5 tons per hectare to double exports to rupees 1 lakh crore and 3 generate 55 lakh employment in a near future 83 lakh hsgs with 9 crore women are transforming rural socio economic landscape with empowerment and self reliance their success has assisted nearly 1 crore women to become lakhpati didi already they are an inspiration to others buoyed by the success it has been decided to enhance the target for lakhpati didi from 2 crore to 3 crore new age technologies and data are changing the lives of people and businesses they are also enabling new economic opportunities and facilitating provision of high quality services at affordable prices for all including those at bottom of the pyramid opportunities for india at the global level are expanding india is showing solutions through innovation and entrepreneurship of its people prime minister shastri gave the slogan of jai jawan jai kisan prime minister vajpay made that jai jawan jai kisan jai vigyan prime minister modi has further that to jai jawan jai kisan jai vigyan and jai anushadan as innovation is the foundation of development for our tax savvy youth this will be a golden era a corpus of rupees 1 lakh crore will be established with 50 years interest free loan the corpus will provide long term financing or refinancing with long tenure and low or nil interest rates this will encourage the private sector to scale up research and innovation significantly in sunrise domains we need to have programs that combine the powers of our youth and technology a new scheme will be launched for strengthening deep tech technologies for defense purposes and expediting atmanirbharta building on the massive tripling of the capital expenditure outlay in the past 4 years resulting in huge multiplier impact on economic growth and employment creation the outlay for the next year is being increased by 11.1% to 11 lakh 11111 crore rupees for the country three major economic railway corridor programs will be implemented these are one energy mineral and cement corridors two port connectivity corridors and three high traffic density corridors the projects have been identified under the pm gati shakti for enabling multimodal connectivity they will improve logistic efficiency 
and reduce cost the resultant decongestion of the high traffic corridors will also help in improving operations of passenger trains resulting in safety and higher travel speed for passengers together with dedicated freight corridors these three economic corridor programs will accelerate our gdp growth and reduce logistic cost 40000 normal rail bogies will be converted to the vande bharat standards to enhance safety convenience and comfort for passengers the aviation sector has been galvanized in the past 10 years number of airports have doubled to 149 roll out of air connectivity to tier 2 and tier 3 cities under odan scheme has been widespread 517 new routes are carrying 1.3 crore passengers indian carriers have proactively placed orders for over 1000 new aircrafts expansion of existing airports and development of new airports will continue expeditiously we have a fast expanding middle class and rapid urbanization is taking place metro rail and namo bharat can be the boon for the required urban transformation expansion of these systems will be supported in large cities focusing on transit oriented development towards meeting our commitment for net zero by 2070 the following measures will be taken viability gap funding will be provided for harnessing offshore wind energy potential for initial capacity of 1 gigawatt coal gasification and liquefaction capacity of 100 mt will be set up by 2030 this will also help in reducing imports of natural gas methanol and ammonia phased mandatory blending of compressed biogas in compressed natural gas for transport and piped natural gas for domestic purposes will be mandated financial assistance will be provided for procurement of biomass aggregation machinery to report collection our government will expand and strengthen the e vehicle ecosystem by supporting manufacturing and charging infrastructure greater adoption of e buses for public transport networks will be encouraged through payment security mechanism for promoting green growth a new scheme of bio manufacturing and bio foundry will be launched this will provide environment friendly alternatives such as biodegradable polymers plastic pharmaceuticals and agri inputs this scheme will also help in transforming today's conceptive manufacturing change to the one based on regenerative principles for promoting climate change activity for blue economy 2.0 a scheme for its restoration stop 